solve the following system of equations algebraically. This system involves a radical equation and a linear equation. In order to solve this, we'll substitute the expression for y from one equation in place of y in the other equation. This will result in a radical equation involving only x. We'll solve the resulting radical equation. To do this, we isolate the radical and then square both sides, making sure that we reject any extraneous solutions. We then substitute the known values for x into either equation to determine the y values. From the first equation, y is equal to the square root of x minus 6. From the second equation, y equals negative x minus 4. We can then make these expressions equal to each other, giving us our radical equation. Note here that the square root is already isolated. To solve this equation, then, we simply square both sides. This gives the x plus 6 as the result from squaring the square root of x plus 6. On the right side, we use FOIL, giving us x squared plus 8x plus 16. Subtracting x from both sides, and then subtracting 6 from both sides, note we want to get 0 on the left side of this quadratic equation. We then get 0 equals x squared plus 7x plus 10. This quadratic expression factors. Note we're looking for numbers that multiply to give 10 and add to give 7. Those numbers are 5 and 2, giving us the factors x plus 5 and x plus 2. We then have the solutions for x of negative 5 and negative 2. We have to substitute these values in order to determine if either one of them is extraneous. For x equals negative 5, the left side of the equation gives 1. Note we're plugging in negative 5 plus 6 to get the square root of 1, which is equal to 1. For the right side of the equation, we also get 1. Negative of negative 5 gives 5, and then minus 4. This means that x equals negative 5 is a good solution. For x equals negative 2, for the left side of the equation, we get 2. For the right side of the equation, we get negative 2. This is not a good solution then, so this is extraneous. We then must ignore the x equals negative 2 solution. We then need to find the y value corresponding to an x value of negative 5. I will substitute into the second equation, which is the linear equation. Substituting x equals negative 5, we get a y value of 1. This means that the solution to this system is the point negative 5, comma 1.